to uh, set up Bear with me one second, I am sorry. <laughs> I got a message through and I wasn't expecting to get a message through and I'm no good at typing and talking at the same time. It's a very good start to the video, I'll be honest. It's a very good start. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and load up the game. So you just aren't waiting about. Alright. But yeah, gonna go ahead and get my phone up to date. Gonna go ahead and get my oh, there we go. <laughs> you can hear me. Uh, so that is just purely for comments. If anybody puts a comment down, I'll see it on my phone and I can reply accordingly. You know the drill by now. Come on. If you've been watching, you know the drill. Right. Let's check. How's your health? Right. Uh, right, first of all, do I need to return the... I do need to return the library book, don't I? What would you like? Uh, return a book? Thank you. What would you like? Uh, I'd like to borrow a book. Hmm. Speed reader. Hmm. I want to know when you can get that because that is something I want. Alright, okay. Okay. So, from June the 1st, that book will be available. <coughs> that book will be available on June... Oh, it is June the 1st. What? Wait a second. I'll keep checking, I'll keep checking. Because that is something that I would uh, particularly like. First of all, let's... Ann... Ryuji's up. later. I think Ryuji. Hmm. I've got a classroom because if I go outside of the classroom uh, he's just in the hallway I think. Yeah. Hmm. 
All right. Only one more, I think, before um, when we get a surprise attack in Mementos with the car, it pretty much takes the persona straight away. All right. Let's go.
all going well. Uh, let me check. Oh, Mishima. Yeah, alright, we'll go see Mishima for a bit. Mishima is moon. I know I do have uh, a moon, 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 moon. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, actually. Oh, so Jiro's not. Right. So, we're going to focus. Oh, we'll go, we'll go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mate, you can't afford that! Behave, lad! Behave! <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, I could. I can afford this. Eight grand a pop, but you definitely can't. Exactly. Oh. That's right. That's more like it, lad. I can cover the meal. I'm not broke. I got 400k. Come on. His mind's in the right place. It's not long now. That fucking boot better be there. I swear to God. Hmm. 
Motherfucker, someone's still got this bastard book out. Um. <clears throat> Who the fuck has this book? Right. Anybody wanting to spend time? Takimi. You know what? I'm actually going to go to Underground Walkway. 463k I've got. I can't make a bond with him yet. What are your thoughts? <sighs> beef ball. I don't know. I get the beef ball. <sighs> Let me go to the underground mall. Have you heard? Kamaki's there. Come in. Oh god, now fuck that. I'll buy eleven. Yeah, she was still. Oh hang on. Is this the uh... Welcome? Enhancing nuclear attacks, a wristband enhancing psychonet psychonetic wristband enhancing bless. Cause so a slim bangle with a simple and chic or chic design can be worn by men. Yeah. What the fuck does that do then? It's 78k. Why why is it 78,000? Fuck that. What would you like? Aim enhancing supplement increases chance of critical for one ally. Mm. A necklace with a magnetic clasp. What does it fucking do? Oh, fast heal. Moist protein. Wrist weights. Bodybuilding tools for arms and legs for exercise enthusiasts. Oh, that's a present. That's a present. That's what that's also present that that uh Yeah. 
Where's this guy? Oh, it's the underground walkway. You know what? Central Street, I think, is the place I'm going to go to. First of all, I'm going to check the... I'm going to check the bookstore. Not only that... Welcome. Hey! Right. Oh, I still need to watch the other part of that film, don't I? I haven't watched it all yet. I'm gonna go in here and sell what I have. I probably don't have much. But I'm gonna sell what I can. I want to make a purchase. Yeah, I can. Okay. Really do much. Seven, 70? Hello? Oi, oi. You should be grateful. 70k? 518 grand? Hello? All I'm right. gonna see about some new weapons though, All just right. in Which case. One? Uh, nothing new. Then again, he doesn't really have much new until... Um... Uh, he doesn't get much new until you start... I can't... Can't take that gun to him, because my guts isn't on Dauntless. Right. Oh. God. Wrong way. <coughs> uh... Let's just go to the job. Let's go to the job. What do you want to do? I'll work. Oh, thank God. Hey. Three and a half grand. Ah, you're back. is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. Yeah. Still need to re uh, watch that movie. So I want to do that. I've got oh. enough lockpicks, I think. There we go. Yeah, we'll watch the end of that. What else? You can see me. Please tell him the truth. Don't worry. You're safe. Can you tell me what happened? Hmm. Okay. 
A, acting like a responsible person. Oh, hang about. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayori... How could I... I possibly apologize to... To everyone for... For what I've done. <laughs> He's crying way too much. And that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? <laughs> Phantom thieves again. You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Are you friends? Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. <laughs> From now on, we'll need to be <coughs> more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? 
Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. <laughs> Moron! That's it, boy! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. All right, guess it's just more prep till then. Think it's time for the bounty. Yusuke Kitagawa. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? Hmm. Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. So you won't sell out your accomplice? Nope. <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Sounds about right. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man. Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Well then. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy. And now, Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. 
Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. Damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. Grrr. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed, <sighs> oh. Where the fuck this is? Um, is it up here? Oh, right, it tells you on the map. Oh, that's nice. I'm sure it never used to do that on the map before, and if it did, I'm too stupid to even realise that it was there. So I don't know how I got lost if it was on Persona 5. Um, but yeah. Of where your commuter pass works. So make yeah, sure Sam, I've got the money. Come on, I got over five hundred K. Come on. I think I can cover it. School commute train pass allows you to travel for free on two railway lines. Yongan Jaya Yongan Jaya uh, to Shibuya and Shibuya to yeah, I'm at it. It's home. I probably butchered those, but yeah. You have to pay a fare to travel outside of these areas, so make your travel plans accordingly. Hmm. What are you stalking us for, stalker girl? Interesting. Right? Fucking stalking those bitch. What would you do? Information desk. Hey. Any questions? Well then.
Yes. Well then. Did you know? Actually... Come again! Hey! Stationary store. Well. Welcome. All right. <laughs> uh, clothing store. Oh, hmm. cell phone store. Clothing store. I'm sure I have to sell something in here. I have 22 of them. <laughs> Jesus, 720 points. I think I can... I think I can purchase them all. Five of them. Take five of them. Fuck it, why not? Hey, hey. That'll do. Hmm. Nah, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I've got 600 grand now. this temple huh. we have to visit the temple though so I'll come here another day what's this fried food oh. uh. all right what's the vendors got oh. in
definitely come by here another time. Be special cereal multi pack. Hey, hey, you know what? I'm gonna buy one of each just because it's uh, you know, <laughs> hmm? oh, got caught on this. Jazz Club. Uh, we want to go play darts, or don't we? Yeah, I heard. Oh. Hey. For real? All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Get ourselves in. Let's go. All right, bull. That's a new high score. The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty. So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point. Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. <laughs> Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. <laughs> Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. That's really focused for this last round. All right. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. <laughs> Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Button pass rank two, damage up hitch. Oh, damn! Hey! The higher button pass rank, the more powerful effects will be when performing a button pass. Rank one, increased damage dealt, of course. Rank two, increased damage dealt, heal HP after a button pass. Rank three, Increase damage dealt, heal even more HP after a button pass, recover SP after a button pass. You can verify a party's button pass uh, rank on the status screen. <laughs> Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Well done. 
This is definitely new, and I approve. Some kind of training, depending on how you play. Well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck? Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? <laughs> Ooh, what's that? <laughs> oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm. This game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, don't worry about it, man. Hey. Hmm. Ah. Back there. Hey, hey. <sighs> no. That target uh, gone. However, crystal healing. What's this about? Take a look around. Hmm. Oof, forty necklace, forty grand even. We'll pass on that. However, what we won't pass on is paying in to get into a year. Hey. What do you 
you play. Hmm. Let's play some darts. Hmm. Time will pass if you play darts. However, you have the ability to invite your teammates to play with you. Playing together will help you bond and strengthen the effects of baton pass. Playing darts with your friends may improve your baton pass with multiple party members. You can view your party members' baton pass rank uh, when choosing who you will invite to play darts. You can also see how, when, uh, how your party members play darts by pressing square. You can also play darts by yourself, you won't be able to increase the bond with your teammates, but you can practice as much as you'd like. Right. What do you want to do? Let's call someone. Hey, hey. Thank you. Okay, to use a wireless controller to aim, hold R2 to confirm where you would like to throw the dart. Oh, the treble. Okay, oh god. The goal of 101's law to zero. Press square to check the values. Okay, I bust. Sixty is not too bad. Hey, damn, make me look bad. All right, all right, all right. Wow. Huh. Oh, motherfucker. One. I'll give it a go. Hey, thirty seven, right? Switch, right? I, I, we, we could do this. We could do this. I'll we be could do this. On you then. Right, where's seven? Boom. 
Okay. No, you sh but, but No. Mm. Oh my god, I knew exactly what I was. <sighs> right. How's it going? I'll give it a go. Glad you're able to uh, stop by and watch a little bit, even if it's just on your break. I'm glad you're doing all right, mate. I'll give it a go. For real? And passes up to three. Nice. Nice. Very well. Let us go. Indeed. All right. Let's let's get this good numbers. Oh, five. I see. I did very badly there. <laughs> it's my turn. Go on, mate. You're gonna have to pull us out the shit. Oh, hey, that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. All right. I need to step up my game now. I see. Gotta step up my game. Take it from here. Alright. Okay. 
Okay. Oh? Yes. this be? Go on, lad. Let's go. Finish it. It's my turn. What is this? I have it. Yes, we know you can do it. We know you. We, we, you got it. Oh, what a finish, lad! Yes. Rank three already, yes, lad. Hmm. That yeah. was time well spent. That should do it for now. See you later. That was kind of fun. things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier I have nothing to report yet nothing at all how many students are there who could provoke a teacher I've already narrowed it down I just can't get any solid evidence <sighs> you knew didn't you about mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashida's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand. <laughs> Did you see Matarame's press conference? 
You mean that guy who was all like, how could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. <laughs> First time I've noticed someone's uh, drawn Madarame crying on the board. Yeah. How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just want to ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well. Not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. Alright, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. <laughs> That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Are you listening? Yes, I'm gonna get chalk chucked at me forehead again. Yes, I know. Pay attention. <laughs> uh, yes, my proficiency. Something like this would happen, so I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Well, you do carry me around in your bag all the time. I've got to show my appreciation somehow. Well, see you around. Actually, I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. You sly dog, you. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Yeah, that's right. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. It's nothing extraordinary. But it's for my dream. So I'm willing to put in every bit of effort that I have. Oh, we're already at the station. I'll 
be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Excuse me, my father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Seems pretty rough. Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome. <laughs> I do not quite think that S and M means small and medium for clothes size. Somehow. Sat here thinking, Maruki, who the fuck is Maruki? <laughs> what are we after? Oh, oh, hello, hello. Uh, library, please. <sighs> what would you like? Some book better be in. Oh, god, fucking damn it. When is that book gonna be? Give me the phone. Where's, where's my phone? Gotta check when this book's gonna be in. July it is. 
it's not June it's July the 1st and basically what that book will do is um, the skill for speed reader will um, every time you go to read a book it'll have uh, like a tag next to it like a little square or something or what, like an icon some have one some have two and in special books they have three but having that skill uh, speed reader you are able to finish two slots in the one sitting so majority of books can be finished straight away which obviously saves on time uh, where do I want to go you know what I feel like I feel like it's a job day uh, I do feel like it's a job day A job kind of day. What do you want to do? Oh, thank God. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Wanna head back? Gotta make that money. Alright mate, well thanks for stopping by and enjoy the rest of your shift and be safe, okay? The others kind of overshadow you sometimes, but don't forget, you're famous too. Just make sure you're careful, okay? Hey, inmate! Listen well. new hmm. decide later because uh, you never know this might not take up time so I'll go here
You can now take the twins to various facilities that pique their interest. When these outings are available, the duo can be found waiting for Ren just outside the Velvet Room. In order to take them to these locations, you'll need to check out the various facilities around the city. Time will pass during an outing with the twins. That will be the explanation. Very well. The first location we've chosen is one that has grown quite popular lately. It's purported to offer foods that stimulate the feeling of being in space. Food is apparently massive enough to rival the side of the universe itself. Well, that's the big uh, the, the burger place, isn't it? Oh my god. Thank you. 
<laughs> well, we didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. You seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. <laughs> Sh shut up! <laughs> I saw you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine. <laughs> that, that wasn't food from this earth. It was clearly a alien spawn of some sort. What? Is this true? I see. Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. <laughs> well, at any rate, we've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. All right. Oi. You better work just as hard next time. I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled. All as if it were nothing. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Why has everything got to be so fucking difficult? Oh, where the fuck has that gone now then? Over. I thought it fell off the floor. <laughs> Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the velvet room.
What's this? A request to the student body. It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa put... Please consult the student council president if you have any details. So we can go to her for anything? Pretty much. Why the student council president, though? What does she have to do with Principal Kobayakawa? I mean, Nijima-san is his favorite. Maybe that's why he asked her to do it. How tragic. That's it. Nice going. Come on, put that up to three. President, what is the meaning of that? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police, what should I do? Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us, too. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything? Well, no. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please, wait on this for the time being. If you say so. My apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this.
Yeah, sure, why the fuck not? Sorry, love, I'm fucking working. It's really coming down. What do you want to do? Oh, thank God. gonna lie Nice going! You did great. Good work today. I'll go see Mishima. Hmm? 
Hi. Come on, let's get going. I like to see better perks. See you later. What do you think about that? I was wondering about that. That's cool. <laughs> it's so cool! Oh, yes.
How about you? This is it. Exactly. Well said. Principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst! So that's what he's using Nijibes Senpai for? <sighs> oh yeah. Rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it, too. Nijima Senpai knew? <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shuchen who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Uh. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd. So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint.
I think that's good. <laughs> I'll have to be right back. Timber yard is full. I'll be right back.
Oh, apologies for that. And I've just invited a friend to chat. You won't be able to hear him, but when he does join, if you hear me saying random stuff, it's just to my friend. Um, so, yeah, I do apologise for that if it's a bit off-putting, but I won't do it during cutscenes or any talking. But, yeah, back to the video. do yes. I'm all right I'm glad I don't feel as tired as tired as I have been last night and uh, the night before <laughs> little bit yeah I do feel like um, we're all gonna be having like late nights because we don't have to worry about going into work and then it's gonna I mean the first couple of nights I was up really late and I think it just caught up with me I mean I had to sleep for two and a half hours from like five o'clock to half seven one night and that's the that's the night that I actually decided to not I, I normally do two videos a day I only did one video that day because I couldn't I couldn't be bothered. I was too tired. I know. I'll be heading home now. I tell you what though, this game is brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I would say so, yeah. Um, I actually have Persona 4 Golden on Vita. But the ones before that, I think Persona 3 is on PS2. But, you never know one day well if if not I can just get a PS2 and just buy it on PS2 because I have seen it in CEX the PS2 version of Persona 3 Um, I don't know I can't remember the price no not now it's closed
to be honest, it probably isn't that much. I'm gonna have a cheeky little gander. I know I'm doing a video right now, but. Uh, Persona 3, the, this one on here, uh, 15 quid plus tax. There's no picture for this one. Huh. Bear with me one second, I've just been kicked out the fucking chat. Hmm. Back off that, go back onto that. I don't know what happened there, fella. Ah, well. Just got booted out the chat. My stream's still on. I'm still on with my phone, because I think that's what I miss some of the messages and that on my phone, because I've got the stream on my phone right now so in case someone messages comments I see it on my phone hmm yeah Well, this is part nine that I'm doing now. Part eight, there was a guy um, come in and he was quite nice. He commented, uh, he likes Persona himself. He, he hasn't got Royale, he's playing Persona 5. Um, but he really enjoyed it and, you know, I was saying, oh, I know some of these parts are a bit boring when I'm just going around. He goes, hey, you got to grind, you got to grind, it's all good, I'm enjoying it. So it was just nice. Bit of, bit of feedback. I will say, though, as much as I like this, it'd be nice for you to get to see and play Persona 5 first and then perhaps play this one. I would recommend doing it in that order. So obviously... No, it is worth it, but like obviously to... to fully appreciate everything that you see in this one, I just feel like maybe he's you know, getting in and what do you wanna do? and playing Persona 5 and obviously when you played that through and then you come onto this one you'll notice all the slight changes and like the big changes and it's mm. just feels good in any case the next time I get paid and I'm being fucking straight up about it the next time I get paid um, if the put if the post office is open still which I, I, I hope it is I'm gonna send your t-shirt and persona 5 your way so you can play it and obviously just keep it as long as you need it um, and that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows <laughs> Well, that would make Pikey a very, very unhappy boy. I'm 
sure you know about commercial breaks? Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and... Huh. You look great somehow. Chill, man. For example, soap up thus. Mm -hmm. The scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. <laughs> I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Oh, yeah. This get any more obvious. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't do that. You fucking bitch. <coughs> <coughs> A fucking video game character just yawned and it made me yawn. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. <laughs> How much longer does this go? Uh. I swear I'm not gonna What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, ask. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Well done. What's that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> you dirty boy. Uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you. Um, basically, it's from this TV show called Sex Education, and uh, Eric is. I thought it was quite funny, to be fair. Um, but this one scene uh, in season two, obviously it's spoiler free, um, he's complaining that he's been masturbating so much. This is Otis to Eric. He's masturbating so much that he can't anymore. And then obviously they're to him talking and they think they're in a, a, the toilets with nobody else there. Then someone flushes the. the no, no, they're not flush the chain, they open the door. And it's a guy. And he goes to walk off, and Eric says, Wash your hands, you dirty pig! No, no, it's just a random, random kid. And he goes, I didn't poo. <laughs> but that that's basically what that's from. Hmm. I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. But when you think about it, you've seen what Ashley looks like, yeah? Do you not think it look he looks like Otis? Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students. No, Eric's the black one. Otis it, His mother's the sex therapist. Not Jamie Lee Curtis. Please don't cause any trouble, okay? That's not Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> well then, uh... I don't know a name off the top of my head, but it's not Jamie Lee Curtis, buddy. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come through mm. if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. 
to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit. I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Rich Alex. L little meth. Oh, the bad singer. Oh, sorry, it's just he's in a band as well. <laughs> or was in a band. Was in a band. Ah, you mean, uh... <laughs> ah, pizza. What a pizza. <laughs> McDonald's, McDonald's. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, he doesn't like KFC, but he loves McDonald's. <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> oh no, no, I just put Oh no. <laughs> we don't spend much time in this area, so relax and check out some shops. You might probably think you're asking him to play Uno. Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge cave that's looking crazy past on the way here. It looked delicious. What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, and along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't ah. prove any kind of courage. I don't know. I don't know, really. Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but... But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. <laughs> Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke ride. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you... Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What? You a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Huh? Cake? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. Never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's go to Dome Town. Dome Town. Suidobashi. machines and get cake instead <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna puke oh for real this is why I spoke against it dude it's not fair using your cathood as an excuse only at times like this anyway are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? 
Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Hey, you know, Sam, we've not been working at, um, well, obviously, before the furloughing, I had two weeks of actually working on the shop floor, and because I wasn't in the calf, I didn't need to shave, and I haven't shaved since, so it's kind of getting on a bit now. <laughs> Same, to be honest. <laughs> hey. Caveman. Right, put my knowledge up to three. Come on, come on, up to three. Magic number. Come on, come on, come on. Bastard. I tell you what, I'm used to playing this game having full fucking social stats and it's killing me only having two on each of them. <sighs> no, I mean, after my first playthrough of Persona 5, I had them all on five except one that was on four and it didn't take long to uh, get to five in into the second playthrough but um have it not having a high enough social stat on either like kindness or charm or proficiency or whatever it in like stops you from doing certain things which is why playthrough one is just to get a feel to it and then play through two is is where you be serious. Like I'm being serious now to do as much as I can, but play through two is where you can properly manage man manage your time better. Because like for instance, uh, Iwa, he is the the guy that works in the airsoft shop that you get all your weapons from. And there's one bit where, <laughs> yeah, airsoft, it's like model guns and stuff. They're not real guns because in the in the palaces and the mementos, it's all about cognition and what they believe to be real. So it doesn't need to be a real gun as long as they see it as real. Then it works as real. <laughs> yeah. Um. So basically, there's a bit where he gives you something to look after the people some like cops or whatever come in and look out the place and obviously you get away and obviously it's probably not something that you should have had on him um but your guts has to be on dauntless uh, so i think that's like rank four for guts to be able to talk to him about the gun obviously if you can do that as early as possible it means you're tight because obviously we can't progress his confidant any further until we can talk to him about it again but y your stats follow over so you can pretty much ask him straight away so it saves time so you can do a lot more but playthrough one is all about just enjoying it I will say if I do go quiet I'm not ignoring you. It's just it just means it's uh, people are talking. Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now on to the hottest meat and greens. Well, that's not that. Our show. I just don't want to talk over them talking. So like, if someone watches it and I'm talking over them talk, like the the characters talking, obviously why they're watching, you know. Appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective Goro Akechi. 
Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stuck. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving hmm. the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention, too. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're... I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. Mm. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from just... More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. I'd plug it in straight away, to be honest. Amazing as always, a catchy coup. Because obviously the first time you use it, it's not going to have full battery. So if you plug it in and charge it up to full battery without using it, then you're talking about PS4 controller. You got a new PS4? Huh. If that were the case... I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Mm -hmm. Now then, first, yeah. please press your button now if you think the phantom thieves exist. Of course they do. Well, in that case, um, I would wait. About just, just hold off. So. I mean, you could set it up, maybe, but. If you un unboxed it, then you've you've got two PS4s, so maybe she could just wait until it gets a bit worse, and then. Well, I don't know what's wrong with it. Like, why do you not think it's going to make it? That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Yeah. All right. Let's try asking this student here. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these phantom thieves if they were real? Hmm. This completely goes against the opinion. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are mm. good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Yeah. How much did you pay, and did you get any sort of deal with it, or did you just get a console? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. Well, just saying, buddy, if you did. I could hook you up. What what games did you get? It could be that what seemed to be ordinary crimes. Well, are can't be that fucking good then. Perpetrated by these methods. You know you're absolutely right. Oh, 
Please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. All right. All right. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. That definitely can't be right. Hmm. Yeah. It kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. Well, I paid 350 quid for my PS4 Pro and it came with God of War. You made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. Oh, yeah, it was that was more recent at the time though. I had the choice between that, FIFA, and um, Spider-Man. Obviously, me and Gilgamesh both had Spider-Man. But I had both God of War and and Spider-Man. But he didn't have God of War, so I got God of War and just give the game to him. Paraphrase Hegel. Advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna have? No. Bag of Doritos with some Dorito dip. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. People around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Death Stranding, you say? Nah. It's probably been off Division 2, but I've, I had my eye on um, Death Stranding. People are saying it's boring, but I quite like the sound of it. There are too many irresponsible people. Hmm. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade. Concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Oh? You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. It's all right with you. Would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the phantom thieves. 
explain yourself. Would have been nicer to get the sour cream and cheese, or sour cream and chives dip, but they only had um, mild salsa. Yeah, it's all right. Black black thorns. I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. Just breathe in the same oh. Come on. Now TV is like Netflix, but instead of Netflix, unlike Netflix, you've got your your sports, your kids TV, TV shows, movies, and I think something else. But there's a pass for each one. You can't, it's not like Netflix where you pay one, like, let's say $9.99 for Netflix. I don't know how much Netflix costs. But you can watch anything that's on there. Um, so I've got, I have I have no TV. And I've got the, the entertainment pass, which is TV shows. So, like, you got anything that's, like, on Sky or whatever or Fox. So I can watch like The Walking Dead or uh, Game of Thrones, like Sky Channels sort of thing. But it's the only one that you have to pay, like it's not like a straight up monthly fee, is the sports one, I'm not quite sure how that works. If I'm going to be honest with you, I only watch it for Walking Dead, and when that eventually does stop, I think I'll be packing in Now TV because Netflix is much better. Mm-hmm. 
Can I just ask, is me munching on these quite loud? Oh. I'll pack it in eating the rest then, till I've done the stream. I don't want people to be put off by me fucking munching. Almost one o'clock. He means the survey on If anything, what I'm gonna do now is I probably would have gone on a bit longer, but I'm a bit peckish now and I don't wanna Yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a bit of a call it a rest for t for, for now. I'm happy with what I've done. Um tomorrow morning. I'm going to have another couple hours on another video, which will be part 10. And then part 11 will be um, on the evening again. Um, so, yeah. I just saved that, but because I'm paranoid, I'm going to save it again just so I've seen that I've saved it. Alright. So for everyone that watched or everyone that will watch thanks and hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in part 10 tomorrow morning uk time between half nine and ten have a good one and see you later